In the magazine Radio Control Models and Electronics, columnist Peter Russell described a simple model aeroplane that was capable of flying in and out of his back garden. I was inspired and sent for the plans. Once they'd arrived, I paused only to chuck the cat off my bed before spreading them out and looking at the detail. It was all a bit of a shock, a very spindly structure, but very buildable. And it would perfectly fit my old OS-19 engine. Now came the reality. Sitting down for weeks on end, building the airframe from pieces of balsa wood stuck together with glue. But piece by piece the airframe came together, each piece of wood matching the next. Then it was necessary to cover the airframe with tissue paper and tighten the tissue paper with dope. Trial fits of the engine showed that it was a really neat installation. The silence sub is essential for an engine that was going to operate in confined spaces. The control surfaces were fitted with very simple sewn thread hinges that were very, very light. A steerable tail wheel was fitted, though whether it did any good no one will ever know. Finally the undercarriage was fitted and those Palmer Cord vintage wheels. With a final trial fit, it was time to fit the radio control equipment. In those days, that weighed nearly a pound and a half. The three channels operated the rudder, the elevator, and the throttle. And now for the finishing touch. An exhaust pipe extension which guided the oily exhaust fumes away from the engine and reversing the silencer priming nozzle and connecting to the fuel filler pipe to pressurise the fuel tank. The time had arrived for the first flight. The aeroplane was crammed into my two-seater MG and assembled on a cold and windy morning at Bewley Heath Airfield. The first flight was a bit of a shock, the aeroplane was very sensitive to control, but as they say in the business, a good landing is one where you can use the aeroplane again afterwards. After dozens of flights, I was finally getting the hang of the stall machine. A really steep takeoff could be achieved. The stall machine was really versatile. In even a light wind, it could be made to hover overhead and even move backwards. Aerobatics such as loops and rolls were possible with a bit of practice. The aeroplane was a delight to fly, and I could touch down right at my feet every time. In 
was a bit of a handful in a strong wind, as this landing shows. <laughs> 